What is up guys, Jimmy here with another Lots of Games review. Today I'm reviewing for you guys Ratchet & Clank on the PlayStation 4. So for those of you guys that have a PS4 and are on the fence, you're not sure if you should pick up this game, I hope my uh, review can kind of shed some light on my thoughts uh, and suggest if you should pick this game up. Unfortunately, at this moment, a lot of stores are actually selling out of this game. People who are buying this game are absolutely loving it. I currently see at the Amazon.com website that uh, we have 184 customer reviews and on average of 5 stars you have 5 out of 5 stars which is I don't really see that a lot of Amazon. I, I see the Amazon.com the actual Amazon store is sold out of this game. We have a reseller I see. Oh, the game is uh, a $40 game. It's at a $40 price point but I see that there's a reseller on there currently on April 20th the time of recording it right now I see a reseller selling it uh, in the United States for $48.99 so there is a demand for this game not not to say you will not find this at your local retailer but a lot of stores are having trouble keeping this game in stock okay let me talk about some of the bullet points for this game and uh, maybe uh, go from there Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 4 awesome visuals awesome story Awesome gameplay, awesome soundtrack. Um, okay, let's start with the visuals. From a graphic standpoint, this game is probably the best looking game on my PlayStation 4. Some of the some of the levels are truly they're they're unbelievable. They are beautiful. Um, I was really really impressed with the graphics. Um, Digital Foundry, I'll include a link in the video description below, they did a comparison. Now, of course, this, this game is uh, based on the movie, which is based on the, um, the game that came out in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Um, Digital Foundry did a comparison of Ratchet & Clank on the PS2, the Ratchet & Clank that was on the PS3. There's a Ratchet & Clank collection on the PS3. So Ratchet & Clank on the PS2, Ratchet & Clank on the PS3, and Ratchet & Clank on the PS4. They compare all those three. And the funny thing is, is oftentimes you have a game on the PS3 that got reimagined or remastered on the PS4, and you're like, oh yeah, it looks, looks better, you know, it looks kind of better. There is a night and day difference from the Ratchet and Clank on the PS3 versus the Ratchet and Clank on the PS4. It's incredible. It is stunning. Uh, and with the game, you have a truly wonderful soundtrack with some... Uh, tracks that fit these stages and areas uh, wonderfully uh, and it really the, the quality I mean of course you have the movie the new movie Ratchet and Clank but uh, you have these amazing uh, song selections that usually don't have this type of caliber in games uh, which really helps with the immersion and getting into the game uh, with the different playstyle and gameplay let's talk about the game gameplay for many of course it's it's great to have a game with great visuals it's great to have a game with great music but at the core at the foundation of a great game is great gameplay and gameplay mechanics uh, of course Ratchet and Clank is an action and adventure game uh, and there is a whole lot of variety to this game uh, let me tell you a little bit about the variety course you have your melee weapon you have projectile weapons you have a variety of guns to choose from but then it, it mixes things up so often to kind of keep you keep you on the edge of your seat you going to in the game get a jetpack there's a hoverboard that you'll get to be in races with there's rail grinding which that's very very fun and exciting there are special boots you'll get so you can walk up walls and reach areas that you wouldn't be able to reach uh, otherwise. There's also awesome firefights you'll get to take part in. You know, you hop in your spacecraft, take to the skies. There's some of these firefights were so much fun and they looked incredible with these you know busy busy cities and areas for those of you out there that have this game on the ps2 and ps3 there are definitely are some differences between those versions because this game is actually told uh, from a different viewpoint uh, a different um, uh, story storyline or the a different way the storyline is told and there's going to be new things in this game you didn't experience with the other two versions on the ps2 
uh, in the in the PlayStation 3. So the first thing that I did not like about this game was the fact that some of the puzzles uh, really took some of the momentum and fun out of the game. Uh, and that's not to say I did enjoy some of the puzzles or puzzle aspects of the game. I did, but some of the puzzles kind of dragged down some of the action. I know you want to kind of regroup after a fast-paced, action-packed area or experience, but sometimes, I don't know, some of these puzzles just weren't placed well uh, and were just areas that I really could not get into. Uh, the second thing that and I'm not going to get into, but I don't want to uh, give any spoilers away, but the final boss, and I understand final about bosses are challenging, but the other bosses I played through, uh, you know, I was able to finish, and but the final boss, ooh, so, so very frustrating. There's almost, almost on the line of this is super, super cheap and really unfair but that was just me some of you guys might be a lot better at this than me and i just felt a couple moments of that final boss was just a little out of hand a little cheap so a reason why the lion share reviews on amazon are from gamers that that bought it and absolutely love it um, will it be you know one of your favorite games on your ps4 i'm not sure but i i can tell you guys that if you want an action adventure game. If you want a game with a whole lot of variety that mixes things up, a game with awesome music, um, uh, variety in terms of the stages, different locations you'll get to explore, uh, something with witty writing, uh, and just a fun pick up and play game. Guys, I highly recommend you guys pick up Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 4. Uh, it is, of course, at a lower price point uh, than the usual $60 uh, price point. And yeah, definitely check it out, guys. I highly recommend that uh, you give it a look. I definitely want to thank the folks at Sony PlayStation for providing me a copy to review for you guys. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.